Hey everyone, and welcome to this panel. I'm so happy to see that there's so many people that is interested in changing career. It's an, uh, I'm just gonna. Um, and uh, during this panel, we have around uh, 25 minutes. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can actually move from your current career into something completely new. Uh, to me, at least that feels very daunting. And I, I think many of you feel the same, especially if you were to start in a new industry or if you were to start in a role, maybe that your current uh, experience doesn't it maybe apply in fully. Um, so with me, uh, I have uh, some great people. I have Linda and Nassim, who's actually done this journey. Uh, and I also have Pietra, who's helping, uh, currently helping and has helped hundreds of people to do this transformation. Uh, my name is Hannah. Uh, I'm uh, the co-founder of Technigo. Uh, what we do is that we take people with little or no experience in programming specifically. Uh, and during 24 weeks, we train them in programming and then we help them get a job uh, as a developer afterwards. So our experience is very much uh, related to development, but uh, our career coaches and the help we give to, to students and to others is very applicable to any type of role that you want to get into. Um, so that's, uh, that's me. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, Technica also co-founded uh, an initiative called Tjejekoa that we actually grew out of that initiative a couple of years ago. Uh, so that is, uh, that is my background. Um, should we start a little bit, but uh, Linda, who are you? I think it's much better if you guys uh, talk by yourself than that I'm presenting you. Sure, I'm, I'm Linda, hey. I am uh, I'm from Lund, but live in Malmö now since three years back. And uh, today I work as a front-end developer at Storytel. And I've uh, been at the company since September last year. And uh, I work in a team that uh, creates tools to engage our, uh, our um, publishers and content creators to ensure they uh, have the best experience offering their content at our, the Storytel service. And uh, before joining Storytel, I was working in HR at IKEA and I didn't have uh, any uh, coding experience before. So, and I studied human resource management in Lund. And uh, uh, at the same, same time, I worked as a salesperson in the IKEA store. And later on, I got a, a job at the, the global HR department in Malmö. And I had a very varied job. Uh, so I got exposed to a lot of different parts of the organization and the tech department was something that uh, I got really curious at. So after three years in that role, I felt that I needed a change and uh, I wanted to explore this tech interest even more. So that's when I found the Technigo Boat Camp and uh, decided to apply. And here I am today. Wow. Well. Did you, uh, in your HR role, had you ever tried programming before? Uh, no, not really, not in that role, but I did some, some uh, evening course. Uh, so you completely, you did a complete uh, leap to something else, basically. Yes, I did. <laughs> Nassim, what, uh, what's your story? What's yeah, I will tell you. I mean, uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Nassim. I live in Stockholm, but I'm originally come from Iran and moved here for almost five years ago. So um, let's see. So I'm currently working as a junior software, software developer at a company named Springworks. So at Springworks, we have an IoT platform for connecting cars. So I just give you some example, just so you know what that actually means. So uh, our platform uh, enables, uh, you know, co uh, consumers to give a better insurance deal uh, since we collect the data on driving style. And with our app, you can, for example, finding parking places, like uh, finding the nearest uh, fueling station and such. Uh, we also monitor your car for in, in, in case you, uh, your car has an engine problems, then you can be aware of that issue. Uh, yeah, and much more. So I'm basically working in a small team, uh, developing yeah, the new features and integrations. 
Um, uh, yeah, that's what I do today. It's um, mostly back end, I would say. It, it, there are some front end development time to time, but it's very small. How yeah. Long you, um, how long have you had that job? Yeah, it's uh, seven months already. And what did you do before this? Uh, yeah, right. I mean, uh, I in Iran, I worked as a, an accountant uh, for almost, I don't know, two, three years before I moved here. So I basically worked as an accountant. Uh, and then when I moved here in Sweden, I started you know, studying Swedish and just taking some extra jobs as a receptionist, uh, receptionist and yeah, working some stores uh, stuff before I changed my career to development. Wow. <laughs> Petra, you're, you're helping people to do this step but yes. uh, tell me a little bit about you uh, yeah my name is Petra I work as a career coach and my role is exactly as it sounds I coach uh, career changers uh, they all have very very different experience when they start they have one thing in common they want to join the tech business and work as developers and I help them, coach them with profiles, uh, build a network, and also communication and interview training. Wow. What do you, I mean, a lot of people that is listening to this now um, probably have these thoughts and uh, it can pr probably feel a little bit scary. Um, what would you say, Pietra, is like the first, the, your best kind of tips if you have these thoughts, like where, where should you start? Um, yeah, I think first of all, you need to ask yourself, why? Why do you want to do a career change? Uh, do you have a passion for something that you want to work with? That's great. Go for it. But it can be other reasons as well. Uh, it can be you need more salary or you want more flexibility. And that's good reasons too. But try to find something that you think is fun and are passionate about because it's tough to change career. Uh, it will be a little bit easier if you do something you think is fun. You can ask around people that work uh, in this area and ask what they work with and to find something you think is fun and do some tutorials or evening courses to find out. But um, isn't, to me, it feels like it will be such a big step to dare to do this and like, you know, really say, hey, I'm I'm quitting my job. I am taking this step, whether it's into development or any other type of role. Um, how, how, Linda, how did you like dare to do this? How did you dare to quit IKEA and, and start to do programming? Uh, yeah, um, what did I do? I, um, I, I had been thinking about this quite a while and uh, I had... Like I said, I've been in my role for three years and I start, wanted to, I didn't know what my next step would be. And I started to feel a bit stressed about it. And, uh, and since I had this tech interest, I felt like maybe it's time to do something about it. And uh, I, uh, I think it was the timing so that I dared to do it. I saw that the, the remote boot camp and that was something for me. And I started to... Uh, talk to people that was in the in the business and in the area uh, to see their experience and thoughts about it and uh, I got inspired so and a lot of support as well from friends and family to encourage me to try try it out but it was scary I should also mention that like if you have any questions uh, for them, please uh, just ask them in the chat and we will uh, try and moderate. We pr probably can't ask all questions, but we will try uh, our best to do so. Um, Pietra, since you're working with this, like one thing that I see as a big problem is that like if I were to apply for a different job, uh, my CV or my LinkedIn would reflect something completely else. How do you like go from that into like, you know, where you want to become? Um, do you have any tips or, or recommendations for that? Uh, focus on your goal first. Uh, 
put the title that you want to become on your new role as your title right now and focus on skills and personalities that you have developed in your career before and not on like the titles you have worked with if you focus on the personalities and skills uh, and how you can take benefit from them in your new role and also make sure to lift up everything you've done uh, that can benefit you in your new role if you have done some evening courses or some hobby projects or anything and your interest and your goal so basically fill up uh, your LinkedIn and CV with, with the stuff that can be relevant for the new role. Yeah, and then exactly. Just, then just go for it. Nassim, do you have any tips for, for people that want to change career? How did, you, how did you dare to do this? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was scary, of course. But, you know, we are lucky to live in such a world that, you know, uh, you know, if you want to decide to do something, you do it. Like, like uh, you know, studies are kind of free. Like you, you have many resources like out there. So it's not like you know, as before that you choose a career and you stick stick to it like for the rest of your life. So uh, I mean, yeah, I was so lucky to be surrounded by people around me who were actually in this tech industry and just I started talking to them and just giving some advice and they you know provide me you know what that actually means to be a developer and what kind of benefits this you know this career could bring you Uh, so that's actually why I started to yeah considering uh, change my career but um, uh, it's maybe a question to Linda and Nassim, but um, so when you entered your, your new role, did you feel that you had stuff from your previous roles that you could like, that was of value to the companies that you went into now? Or was it like a complete uh, clean slate? Or do you understand my question? Like, is there part from your previous jobs that you now benefit uh, and use in your, your job today? Mm, not really I would say I uh, yeah like I mentioned I I work as an as an accountant you know you do the same thing uh, you know every day uh, and there is no such a teamwork uh, you know uh, so it got boring in that sense and so right now I'm working in a team you know uh, we are helping each other uh, so I I wouldn't say that my previous uh, like experience uh, yeah uh, no. Linda do you feel that you have any benefit from from your previous experience uh, when entering a new role yeah, sure you have the like the confidence from being in a big organization before and like you know how to work like just normal things like meetings and social things and how you yeah you have a different confidence than when you're newly graduated and start a new job. Um, so that was good. So definitely. We have a question here for from, uh, one, and we have many questions from participants, but uh, uh, one is asking here, if you feel for a while that you need to change, where do you start? Uh, when is it when it's not coming from passion, but something else, but more, more in a need for change? How do you, how do you start from there? And know how to where to go maybe Petra this is uh, do you have any good advice here uh, I think if you have a clue of what area you want to work with join communities and meetups and meet people that work in that area and ask around what do you do what do you do in your work and how did you learn so you get uh, so you get the understanding of what they do in in the job uh, because you need to put some effort to your change. And when you put effort to it, you want to do something that you think is fun or can be fun when you have learned. Yeah, it, that's also like the effort, like uh, how tough is it to actually change career? I get, you both have changed 
very drastically <laughs> like how how would you say that it's a, like an easy ride or would you say it's a tough ride or um well it's it's a tough but fun uh but once you have taken the decision to do the change um there's much uh, better feeling that when you decided than before like going around thinking should i do it should i not so when you decided to do it it feels good uh and um and like changing careers into tech and programming was uh, i love the format like going into a boot camp and that's like focus on that uh so you know what to learn uh, a good start definitely oh sorry no i mean i i agree that the for me it was like personally going to boot camp was like you know provides me like extra help and just uh, networking and uh, yeah it's it, it was a like really good way i mean if uh, everyone wants to start from somewhere like we have um I have one more question here from a uh, panelist that I think uh, aligns a little bit with with a, one, a question that I have as well. It's like I, I myself have been working uh, for quite a long time in the role that I have now and feel very confident in that. But like, how do you go from that? And like, how does it feel more to all of a sudden be new again, like maybe 10 years later or, you know, you've done something for 10 years and then you all of a sudden you're back in like a junior position uh how how how's your experience been uh with that i seem do you have any uh, of being junior you mean yeah or like what wasn't it scary to like start over and uh yeah of course i mean it's i mean it's it's tough let's be honest you know it's it's not something that you uh, you know you learn stuff overnight and you have to just accept the fact that, you know, you're gonna be uncomfortable sometimes, but it's worth it. Like, you know, to, to working as a junior, like people around you understands you first, first of all, and they will help you like uh, in every way, because, you know, as, as a team at the end of the day, you want to, you know, achieve things together. So, I was so lucky to, you know, to uh, work with people who were actually very understanding and had have a, such a such a good and a helpful, um, yeah, mindset. Were you nervous the first day? <laughs> yeah, I am <laughs> <laughs> too now. But I mean, first days, first weeks, it's like, oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, and you know, is it really something? <laughs> that I want to do or am I get am I getting fired like anytime soon <laughs> but yeah I, I made it seven months strong <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a question directed to Peter here um Peter do you have any tips to help one decide which career path in tech to follow because the amount of option is just overwhelming for our beginners oh I think you should try out some beginners courses. They are just a few hours long and uh, try which way you think is most fun. And also what, look at companies you want to work at and what you are interested in and ask maybe recruiters or other developers what you think they need. It's not always the thing you think is most fun that are most needed in the business today. Uh, so have a look at LinkedIn and see what job ads you can find. If you see a lot of uh, JavaScript ads, then it's JavaScript you should choose. You said uh, also uh, in your introduction that you help people with network as well uh, to get a network. Like how how do you do you have any tips for like getting a network in the area you want to want to pursue? Like I would be very lost in that area <laughs> if I were to step into something completely else yeah it's a big uh, industry so you can join communities meetups but also if you are interested in a 
a specific company, ask them if they have any like conferences or meetups that they hosting, you can join. And when you join meetups and conferences, uh, contact with and connect with other developers. Did you, Linda, and Asim, meet? Uh, did you meet with uh, developers in your case uh, during the processes in any way, or uh, was it very crystal clear what you wanted to do? Or you mean uh, during during the the bootcamp, or uh, oh, like when... in general with the kind of career changing process? Uh, yeah, I started to reach out to a lot of friends who I knew were working in the uh, area. Um, did you feel that they were open to uh, to yeah definitely them? Uh, everyone is so kind and open to talk about what they're doing and like they want to help you and like just reach out whenever you need anything so i got plenty of new friends as well <laughs> that's nice <laughs> We have, uh, so there's a lot of questions here. <laughs> if you have any more questions, just pop them in the chat uh, so that we will uh, so we will ask them. Um, someone is asking, uh, my daughter that wants to work as a developer, um, she started to program at home. Uh, do we have any tips where she can help and develop? And I can, I can answer myself. <laughs> no, but we, uh, at Technigo, uh, only teach adults currently. Shejikoda um, that we also have is also mainly targeted at adults, but uh, we do have some free courses there that that younger people can obviously take as well. Uh, but otherwise, there's lots of like initiatives. Um, Code Centrum, Hello World. Uh, I think in general, just try and find uh, a good uh, community for that age group uh, and, and engage in that. Because as you, you said, Linda, the, the people in tech in general just want to like network and there's a lot of uh, people who want to want to help out. Uh, Pietra, like how, how likely is it that one gets a job afterwards? Now, I guess you can mainly speak for from development perspective, but like if I were to choose to go the development path uh, with somehow learning programming. Um, how does the job market for that looks like? Look like it's great job market. Uh, we always need people in tech, uh, and from our boot camp, our previous one, and they graduate in the middle of this pandemic, and eighty five percent of them got a job in six months after the boot camp. So you maybe not get a job the day after or the day you want to change. Um, but as soon as you decided to change and if you put some effort to it, you will get a job in six months, I think. Is that regardless of background, did you say? Or like? Yes, of course, if you have a background that is close to tech, uh, it will be easier, uh, but it doesn't matter. You can have any background. And change. One is asking how, I don't 100% understand this question, but uh, how do we overcome the challenge of getting into the new industry considering you don't have the background and you're newly graduated? Uh, I guess that's maybe newly graduated from something else then, than what you want to do. That's how I interpret it. Please feel free to, to clarify if you have uh, ever asked that question. Um, but like, say you are, you've gone uh, an education and uh, you feel that that education doesn't really fit. Is it like completely, uh, is it, is it uh, can you still work with something else, basically? Yes, of course. Uh, and maybe you need to do something, do a project in uh, the way that you want to work. So if you have education in something else and want to work with some other role uh, that's close to that you can like self-educate yeah I, I for that role I use very little uh, I'm an engineer in media technology and I don't use hardly any of that in my daily job so <laughs> I guess it's all about how you angle yourself a little bit um it, 
I can just round off. We have uh, one minute left. Uh, but if you have any more questions, they told us that we could uh, stay here for a little longer because we don't. there's nothing afterwards in the studio. So uh, feel free to pop in questions if you have uh, for this, um, when you have these people here. Um, but uh, I just wanted to say that we, we help people. Uh, someone asked also if we help other people uh, find a job that's not taking code courses from us. Uh, sometimes we do, um, but um, most often not because we have a lot of students to to uh, help out. Uh, but on the Shea Quarter side, uh, which is also our, our, organization, our sister organization, uh, feel free to, to email them there. And if you have any questions about in general, uh, you want to start programming or you know, careers in tech. We also have a lot of partner, partnering companies there as well. Um, but otherwise, also someone asked now how we can find you ladies, uh, me and PF at least, you can find on uh, technigo.io or my email address is hannah at technigo.io versus pietra at technigo.io. Linda and Nassim, if, if one has questions for you, uh, can they like add you on LinkedIn or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, perfect. Um, to see how if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty much set. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for listening. I hope you got some advice and some inspiration on how to potentially pursue some a dream or start a new career or just quit tomorrow, maybe. Uh, <laughs> always encouraging people. Do it. Quit. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not you guys though. <laughs> And if you have any questions about, uh, about us or what we're doing, uh, feel free to email us or check out our website. We also have a, uh, a free webinar on Monday, actually, about uh, how to change career specifically uh, with us. So um, just reach out if you have any questions. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs>